you. New tonight, you are paying rent for people committing or involved in crimes from drugs to prostitution. And this is happening in public housing sites where seniors and children at times are living in fear. Workers fed up with the way the system is operating came to call six investigates for help. Yeah, and Rafael Sanchez takes a look at a system which some say is failing those families in need, Rafael. I'm Mark and Amanda, good evening. Just because you live in public housing does not mean that you are a bad person. It does not mean as well that you should have to live with crime. Tonight, right now, 172,000 names are on a waiting list for housing. That means that that can fill up Assembly Hall in Bloomington 10 times, the Rudolph Music Center in Noblesville 7 times, and the biggest gym in the country in Newcastle 18 times. We're talking about people following the rules that should not have to die to get the help they need. All right, one, two, three. Three-year-old Zakaya and four-year-old Zakaylee are bundles of energy. Their mom wants them to be kids and not to worry that they are homeless. She's tired of being on the Indianapolis housing waiting list. The first time I applied was um, May 13th, 2014. It's annoying and irritating because I tell them I'm homeless. She's staying with a friend working at a fast food restaurant to pay the bills. Before that, she lived in her car. So yeah, it's been really horrible. Waiting lists for public housing are not new. There are not enough dollars to meet the demand. So housing officials must make tough choices so that people getting taxpayer funded rent assistance really need it and are not breaking the law. Call six investigates obtained nearly two years of internal documents from the Indianapolis Housing Agency detailing the spike in crime among tenants connected to robberies, drugs, and criminal homicide. This happening as the federal government slashed public safety budgets and housing agencies are giving people violating rules or committing crimes more time to be evicted. That's ridiculous. Out of 16 Indianapolis housing sites, five operate under one strike in which residents involved in felony crimes can be evicted within 72 hours. But those under the RAD program can be evicted within 30 days. And documents we obtained show that the remaining 11 sites have the highest crime incidents, including Blackburn, Beechwood, and Laurelwood. Housing workers are frustrated. Their bosses are not doing enough to evict lawbreakers who are living off the taxpayer while families following the law beg and wither on waiting lists. Some families have to sleep on the floor next to drug houses that are known drug houses, but nothing is done. So that's why I'm crying out, because of the families. I would say that's really horrible. Internal records dating back to March show the agency was aware of several residents at Blackburn, for example, involved in crimes and nothing has been done while 3,000 people are on a waiting list. We sat down with two IHA executives. Dwayne Ingram oversees the property managers, and Ralph Jordan is chief of operations. I haven't seen a rise in crime. You know? No, I, I, you know, we, we get reports every Sunday. Um, we, we review them Monday, Tuesday. I was reviewing some today. Okay. Um, and um, the crime rate appears to be the same. Um, it, it, it doesn't appear that one strike has affected um, any rise in crime, from, from my observation. Okay. Yes. Absolutely the same. That's contrary to Ingram's emails. A recent one tells managers there is a lot of police activity in your properties and asks them to take action. Jordan also dismisses that a cut in public safety is causing the spike in crime. We continue to strategize as to how we can improve safety on our properties. And so that, that's, that's, that's pr our primary focus. Ingram has met with IMPD to discuss plans to increase their presence on IHA properties. Details are pending. I will tell those on the waiting list that we are doing our very best with the resources that we have. All the waiting list, the waiting list, the waiting list. Shantia James just got an apartment after living in her car. She's been on the waiting list since 2015. Like, why do we have to wait your whole life, like, to get help? It's an agonizing situation for several housing employees who feel stuck with criminals on their properties. Well, I'm not a criminal. I've never done anything bad to anyone, so it's just crazy.
So tonight behind the scenes, I'm told that housing managers have been meeting to discuss better ways to enforce their rules. And no doubt that people have rights, but people not acting right by committing crimes should not be rewarded while Zakaya and Zakaili, these two young girls here, and many others wait on a waiting list. Amanda?